Obviously, and um, should be a great atmosphere at Acrosure Stadium. The guys have worked hard. Uh, we think we've cleaned up some things we need to clean up, and uh, obviously, you know, um, nothing is, you know, you don't snap your fingers and fix everything you'd like to, but hopefully uh, we will go out and play uh, like we expected to uh, when the season started. So, questions? It Pat. occurred to me that on Monday, we never just asked you directly. Is Phil starting on Saturday? Yes. Pat, uh, you, you talked about on Monday about how you thought you guys need to do a better job of having simulated pressure and practices. How do you, how did you go about that this week? You know, uh, just getting the, the, you know, our rocks, our scout team too, you know, again, simulated a little bit different what you're talking about, but you know, just getting the better pressure and, and guys picking it up. So it's just a matter of how fast you're playing. If it's really slow, uh, it's not as good when we did it, you know, and in some of our individual periods, we, you know, we brought over the rocks even just to help out the D line on twist, just getting fast, you know, fast guys doing it, you know, quicker. Um, and again, you can never emulate. We have an ACC period every day. We call it ACC, um, where we go good on good. It's one defense against one offense. We go. Um, we got ten plays this week. Uh, usually, we get you know eight to ten plays a week. Um, besides that, we go fast. You know, Skelly, which doesn't really help, but uh, so you know, you know, we've worked it enough in individual for the quarterbacks just to you know feel pressure and throw better on you know during pressure because we're getting a lot of pressure. Um, you know, we're not protecting like we'd like to. And that's why the run game has got to be clicking. And uh, we've got to give our quarterback time. I heard you, Brian, you uh, cleaned up your fast rush skills from Rhode Island. In I did? In practice. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know where you got those. those uh, you, didn't, you didn't get involved and rush the quarterback a little bit? Oh, uh, a little bit of individual, just because I wanted to teach some of those, you know, some of the, you know, some of the DB just how to do it. But, yeah. Yes, maybe you saw that. But yeah. Sure, are you standing up on the hill during practice? Because Some, we have uh, our own policies. A little birdie. <laughs> a little birdie told me. Now, what did you see from the offense this week? And were there some encouraging signs you saw in practice? Yeah, no, you know, no doubt about it. And again, you know, like we always like to, you know, look at, you know, what's wrong and not look what's right, Jeff. But uh, you know, there's always something to fix. You know, I'm glad it's, you know, I'm glad it's really just, you know, isolated in one unit as opposed to all three. If you had like all these things and you're busy plugging up holes everywhere. That becomes even more problematic, but uh, you know we will get it right. That's what we do. That's why we get to coach. Uh, you know, and that's what you love about what you do. Otherwise, you kind of if everything was perfect. Like, what would we do? Um, so it's a challenge, you know, um, and uh, it's fun, and uh, we'll we'll get it right. You know, it's, it's our coach's job to get it right. Um, you know, our offense staff. It's our players' job to get it right, um, and we need to go out and execute as a unit. Pat, your uh, your time as head coach, I've seen you take the reins and kind of get hands on with the coach, and when you see something is very important to an upcoming matchup, what are the things you do? I know you said you're not a quarterback guru or quarterback whisper, but what are the things that you do to be hands on to help with the quarterback situation? Jerry said, it, "I'm rushing the quarterback. I'm trying to put some slow pressure on. That'd be slow pressure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing whatever I can. You know, um, you know, I think I mentioned it in a, in, a, in a, you know in the meeting. You know, just about where my time is." And, and when I say I spend time, you know, I spend time in the meetings with the defense, and I don't spend much meeting time with the offense. But if you notice, when I'm on the field, I'm spending 100 percent of the time with the offense, trying to look at those little details, looking at the effort, looking at the execution, you know, right there, um, you know, and get immediate feedback as opposed to waiting. And that's kind of been my method uh, all along. But uh, you know, doing whatever we can do just to clean up the details and, and, and get a fix. And it's been little things here and there. And I don't want to get into the weeds, but. You know, we got some good work in this week, I can tell you that. How have your Eagles helped Phil? Like, your, your Eagles are your, your captains, the guys that can help set the tone. And maybe not necessarily like, like helping, like talking to him, but helping him and like, hey, we have to do these other things on our team to make the situation better. Yeah, I think, you know, the Eagles met with Phil. Phil were actually asked to meet with them, uh, to be honest with you, because he's, he's a leader. And, um, and, you know, I think they had a great meeting um, and, uh, and show of support um, like everybody needs. Um, and they all, they, they, I think they all recognize, you know, they know the issues. They all watch the tape, you know, uh, not everybody gets to watch the tape, um, but, uh, you know, we all get to, you know, watch the tape together. They know that it's not just one guy. And I know, you know, that's where it always gets, he gets all the highlights and gets all the lowlights. So, um, you know, we're, we're expecting to have a great day Saturday. I think it was maybe 2020. Uh, and I think you talked about it after the season, that midway through the year, maybe after the Notre Dame game, you kind of took got more involved with the offense, kind of spent more time with those guys. It was a COVID year, maybe? I think so, yeah. yeah. It was a COVID year, sat right in here. Um, but again, we've had those conversations and the offense has been great. Um, so, you know, again, I'm gonna have my opinions and stuff, but again, I'm not the guru. And again, you know, I, I don't think, 
I don't think any offense coordinator, defense coordinator, special teams coordinator wants you know a guy that really doesn't know the details. You know, like I said, I think they do a fantastic job. I've been around some offense coordinators, whether it was at Michigan State or here, and you know they're detailed and and, uh, and you know we you know like we're good at what we do. We just got to execute it better. And again, is that slimming down what we do? When I see lack of uh, lack lack of execution, I think too much. That's my my feeling as a coach. And, um, so, you know, whether we got to slim it down, uh, that's been some conversations, you know, make it simpler uh, because it's detailed. And, you know, if it's executed properly, it's great. You know, but if our guys don't execute properly, then what does it matter? Do you feel like your team's a little on edge this week? Do you feel like, you know, they are upset to be in this current spot? There's no doubt about it. But, like, you know, we're not looking backwards. Uh, we're looking forward. And I think they're edgy. I think, but we actually had more. They were edgy last week. There was some more, there was more fights last week in, in practice. Uh, they were they were antsy last week as well. I mean, there's no lack of desire, Noah. Um, you know, they want to go out and perform, and uh, but you got to execute and perform at, at, at a high level, and, and it's not easy. I mean, everybody thinks it's easy. It's not like <clears throat> this is not something where you click your fingers, and you know you can see it with with other teams around the country. You can see it. You know, you know Alabama. You know, got issues too. I mean, you know, there's there's issues out there. You know, there's there's a bunch of teams that have things that they're trying to fix and. And we're just one of those as well. When you have one unit that's kind of lacking confidence, do you think all it could take is maybe just like one really good drive to get them going in the right way? I think it could take one drive, it's one game. You know, and again, you're, you're in a one game season. And, and again, like I said, you know, I'm always going to take it from a positive. I, I see the tape, I know what we're doing right. We got to finish better. We got to finish the details. Um, you know, we know how to get lined up. We know how to, get, you know, we just got to finish it. And again, it's up to 11 guys finishing the play. And we have not done a good job finishing the details. And until we do that, we're going to have the same thing. Pat, you uh, you just mentioned Alabama. They made a quarterback change, you know, and they're trying to find that guy. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the other day you don't like to change that position because it's different. Not but yeah. but in, in the past, in 17, I think, for example, you you had three guys in there. Yeah. So what makes this situation different than that one? Because I watch practice every day. I watch the game tape every day. I watch the pressure the quarterbacks have been under. And I see all the issues. I mean, back in 2020, whatever year that was, you're talking about Will. I mean, every year is different. Every quarterback's different, you know. Um, and uh, I'm going to be patient with it. No, no one's saying there's not going to be a change. Um, but, you know, I look at the whole picture. I see everything, not just, you know, I just don't see the little things or just this. You know, I got I to gotta look at the overall picture. And, and uh, I think I'm smart enough um, and, and done it long enough that, that uh, we'll make the right decision when the time is you know, is right. You often talk and about hopefully you guys will come in here and say, Coach, you're damn right. Good job. You often talk about the 24-hour rule. Win or lose, you got to you know, absorb it for 24 hours and then you can get rid of it. How has Phil dealt with that? Has he been a 24-hour guy where he comes in, he refocuses really quickly to get back in it? He's been great. He's been great. He's done that every week. So um, he can be great during the week. We need to, you know, do it on game day. Um, but he's been great. You know, um, you know, I mean, not issues at all. He is, is um, as cheerful and, and happy as, as I've seen a guy. What, do you, what does your defense have to do this week specifically to stop Drake May? Great question. <clears throat> we, get, we can't lose our details. We lost our details a year ago, okay? Uh, he will drive you crazy because he can throw it, make every shot. Um, he, you know, he, he's got great ability. Um, and, and then he scrambles, okay? And again, you guys, if you go back to my press conference after that game or on Monday after North Carolina last year, the major issue with our defense is when Cancy went down, our guys panicked. There was no pressure on the quarterback he had all day. And then they felt like he's going to run again, so I got to go get him. And then they lose coverage. And then they let the DBs hang out. So, you know, that won't happen again. Uh, you know, we'll, you know, you'll go back and watch the tape and you're like, oh my God, you know, we, we can, you know, we can hammer that. You know, we'll be looking for that to happen when they have success because they'll have success. I mean, they're going to throw the ball. Um, but we, we can't lose. Our fundamentals. You know, we, we, we know how to play defense. We know how to play pass coverage. We have to just stick with it. And not, you know, he's going to scramble for two yards. It's going to happen. Uh, you can't stop at all. When you have good pass coverage, that dude's going to take off. And there's going to be times when you know the ratio up front with those four guys pass rushing is going to leave a lane for him to go. And you know, more than ever, he's been looking. If he doesn't like it, he takes off and runs. So um, you know, we have to be patient. Pat, how much of a factor is their run game? It's a factor. They like to run the football. Uh, they got good tailbacks. I mean, you know, we've talked about, you know, they like to run the football and they're going to probably watch the last two games and go, we can run the football. So they're going to, you know, so that's what we have to make sure we're, we're good at. Uh, I would imagine we're going to see some outside zone, which, 
usually we don't see a ton of outside zones because of our ends uh, and how well we've played it, but we're going to see some outside zone. We're going to have to stop that. Uh, we cannot let the two-headed monster go. I mean, if they can run the ball and then they can throw it when he wants to, that's, you know, that's a problem. They did not attempt, you know, because of the way we stopped them two years ago when they came here, we stopped the run and, uh, and they struggled to throw it every down. We made them one-dimensional. Last year, we did not really make them one-dimensional. I shouldn't say that. We did make them one-dimensional, and it, it didn't matter. They didn't really try to run the ball. They were like, okay, they stopped us a year ago. Now I think they're going, okay, this ain't the same defense from a year ago. We'll find out. Um, but um, you know, I think last week helped us a little bit. You, you, if you looked at the play and not look at the yardage, you know, you look at the yardage, you're like, ooh, they still ran the ball pretty good. But there was you know, 51 rushes, and it was, I think, three yards per carry. So okay. something like that. 3.5 yards per carry. Or a couple more, Terry. Yeah. One yeah. more. You, um, uh, your run game is, is the best way to solve quarterback is to keep them off the field. Is your run game up to the, uh, up the standards and bump up the time of possession for you guys? Um, you know, you know, you look at like Izzy was pretty good, guys. Remember Izzy? Remember that guy number two? <laughs> like that guy had the the ability to explode, and, and we miss Izzy. I mean. Um, you know, Rodney, we're gonna we're gonna put a load on Rodney tomorrow. He needs to go. I think you guys will all be happy with that. Um, you know, uh, he was a little banged up during camp, and we've got him. You know, probably back to as good as you know, health as we've had. Um, and uh, so, you know, um, you know, Rodney's ready to go. But, you know, we need some explosives. Again, how do explosives happen? Okay, when you talk about you know getting the run game, Jerry, you know, you're exactly right. Like we have, what's the longest run of the year? I don't know. Does anybody know? 23 yards. 23 yards. That's not very long. Okay. Um, and so we need some explosive runs. We need some explosive passes. We have to get some of those. It's hard to go 13 plays all the time and, you know, and kick a field goal or score a touchdown. It's hard. You'd like to do it quicker than that. And we have to get explosive in the run game, pass game. But how do explosives happen? The receivers got to go downfield on the runs and help Rodney, help Daniel, help Sebo, uh, you know, help, help Phil. And last week, I, th I think I mentioned Monday, you know, there's times where we, you know, should we, you know, quarterback run should be another 10, 12 yards, but we don't block one. And that's disappointing. And that goes on other guys, not just the ball carrier. So we got to, we got to finish, you know, every play, you know, to the echo of the whistle. Zero out of 38 yards against Cincinnati. Is that, Don, you got the last question. Thank you, Jim. In terms of North Carolina defense, is there any different, did they play a lot different than last year? Or do you think they expect much of the same this season? You know, it's hard to tell. Um, you know, they play some four down, which is what they, you know, major in. Uh, they do sprinkle in the third down, uh, or th excuse me, the three down stuff. So, you know, wouldn't be shocked to see, you know, play some three down. But the good thing is we've done that for a couple weeks, so we got our answers to that. So we'll we'll see. Um, but I can see them jumping into some odd stuff and, and uh, maybe blitzing like the last two, you know, two teams have done, which has caused us a little bit of issues, I guess. But our protection much better last week compared to Cincinnati was atrocious. Coach, thank you very much.